Hello everybody and welcome back to my true crime channel. I hope you're all okay and having a great day. The exact details of Donwell's arrest over the weekend have been released and I'd like to share them with you. So the document says that Donald Wesley Wells was arrested for driving under the influence and having an open container in the vehicle, expired registration and violation of financial responsibility. So the document reads as follows, on October 30th, 2021, at approximately 10.14pm, Deputy Carter observed a white GMC Sonoma travelling south on Van Hill Road towards the Hawkins Green County line. I observed the vehicle to attempt to negotiate a left turn to exit the roadway into the grass shoulder. I activated my emergency lights and a traffic stop was performed. The driver was identified as Donald Wells. While speaking with Mr. Wells, I observed bloodshot eyes and an odour of an alcoholic beverage coming from Mr. Wells' person. I observed a large bottle believed to be an alcoholic beverage in the passenger seat in plain view. I asked Mr. Wells if he had drank any alcohol and Mr. Wells stated he had had a little bit. Mr. Wells stated he had taken a couple of shots of an alcoholic beverage. I asked Mr. Wells about the bottle in his vehicle and he stated that he took it from his wife because of an argument. The large bottle was determined to be an alcoholic beverage that was approximately halfway empty. Mr. Wells consented to standardised field sobriety testing. During the HGN test, I observed Mr. Wells to have no resting nystagmus, equal pupil size and equal tracking. I observed Mr. Wells to have a lack of smooth pursuit with distinct and sustained nystagmus at a maximum deviation in both eyes. I observed onset of nystagmus prior to 45 degrees in his right eye. During the walk and turn, I observed Mr. Wells to miss heel to toe five times, step off the line multiple times and use his arms for balance. During the one leg stand, I observed Mr. Wells to put his foot down twice, sway and bend his knee for balance. While reading Mr. Wells the Tennessee implied consent form, he stated that he probably had too much to drink. Mr. Wells gave consent for a blood draw. The vehicle had expired registration of August 2021 and he was unable to provide proof of financial responsibility. Mr. Wells was transported to Hawkins County Memorial Hospital for a blood draw, then to Hawkins County Jail for booking. While at the hospital, Mr. Wells asked what the legal limit was. I advised him it was 0.08 and he stated that he would fail the blood draw then. If the defendant's charge is dismissed and no true bill is returned by a grand jury, the defendant is arrested and released without being charged with an offence or the court enters a null prosecute in the defendant's case. The defendant is entitled upon petition by the defendant to the court having jurisdiction over the action to the removal and destruction of all public records relating to the case without cost to the defendant. So I think we can all assess from what was written down by the police officer that pulled Don for the drinking and driving. Don was definitely pissed. He had the bottle of whiskey. I imagine the bottle of whiskey on the passenger seat was the same bottle of whiskey that we all saw on the live video. I don't think he took it from Candace at all. I think that's probably a load of our rubbish. I reckon that's probably a lie from Don. And I reckon he took the bottle because he was drinking whilst on the way to go and buy cigarettes. If he really was going to buy cigarettes and not drugs, as some people are claiming. So what a mess. This really is a joke. Don clearly was drunk. At least he admitted it and didn't try and deny it. I'm surprised he didn't say he wasn't drunk. He must have realised with a bottle of whiskey on the passenger seat in the car... He was well and truly busted and there really wasn't much point lying and trying to wiggle his way out of it. So at least we all know now guys that Don definitely was arrested. It wasn't a hoax. I know a lot of people thought at first it was a hoax from Don and Candace as they are known for pulling pranks. They've got previous for it. I did wonder at first could it be a prank but having watched Don live on the internet with his bottle of whiskey looking quite pissed I did think it was true. And I didn't think it was a hoax. And unfortunately for Don and Candace, it wasn't a hoax. And Don really was busted. So I'm still finding it unbelievable that Don was done for drinking and driving. And he was also on the phone to someone. And he's got no insurance. 
and God knows what else he's been up to that's illegal. I imagine that's probably not the only thing illegal he's done recently, considering his track record. It really is very sad to see how downhill him and Candace have gone, how bad their relationship is becoming, how on the edge the pair of them are, and how clearly at least Don still has issues with substance abuse. I'm guessing Candace might too, but I cannot be sure on that. But one thing's for certain, when Don Wells drinks, he gets really angry, he turns into a completely different person, and clearly takes risks that are stupid, where he could eventually end up dead, or kill somebody else whilst going out, apparently, to buy cigarettes. I really hope that Don and Candace sort themselves out, I hope they can sort their relationship out, and get back on track. Perhaps if they could get off drugs, get off booze, get their house sorted out, you never know, they might get their children back. I very much doubt it. And to be honest, looking at everything that's gone on lately, I'm not sure whether it would be a good idea for them to have their children back. But it's extremely heartbreaking that Summer's brothers are still in foster care. But is that the best place for them? The way Don and Candace are behaving at the moment, I think so. But I do hope and I pray that they clean their act up and maybe they can get their children back if they could sort themselves out. But whether they can sort themselves out is another matter. Well, anyway, guys, it's just a short one from me. I just wanted to read you what was written down by the police officer, how clearly Don was swaying, couldn't stand up straight, couldn't balance himself properly, and clearly was pretty pissed and definitely drunk. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you're all well and having a good day. I just want to say a big thank you and a hello to all of my new subscribers and members. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all of your continued support of my channel. Well, I hope you're all having a great day. And as usual, I'm going to be back with you all very soon for another true crime video. Bye for now.